We've got Tua versus Justin Herbert taken back to back in the 2020 draft, fifth and sixth overall by the Dolphins and Chargers, respectively. The Dolphins are favored by three at SoFi Stadium. The over under is 52. Dolphins overall, Chris, I mean, they're the better team. Yeah. Chargers on paper going into the season were the better team, but you don't play it on paper and the Chargers get banged up and the Dolphins are playing better. They've got healthier guys and they just look better right now. I can't imagine the Chargers winning this one. I've got no faith in them at this point. Yeah, I I, I hear you. I mean, it, it's hard. It is hard. I will say, I think they match up somewhat good with the Miami Dolphins. They're not as good, like you've said. I mean, this is a Dolphins team that we knew had talent before the year. We weren't sure about Tua and Mike McDaniel, and that's just absolutely exploded. And McDaniel has shown he's one of the best offensive minds in the game, and Tua's playing great, so that's all working. You know, people are insane if they don't think that the Miami Dolphins would be good if Justin Herbert was on that team. But that's another conversation for another day. All right. But yeah, the Dolphins are it, it last week's loss to the 49ers made me feel better about the Dolphins. When I watched that film back, I went, the Dolphins are one of the best teams in football. You know, I, I know what the 49ers are. I've seen them in person and everything, and I know they're big and fast and physical and so I, I know where to hold them in the, the hierarchy. And to see Miami and go, oh, they're every bit as talented as the 49ers. And, you know, they're dangerous and can make plays and do all that. Tua was off last week. He was off. Like I said, I've never seen him miss that many throws. I've never seen anybody this year miss that many open throws where he, he left a lot of plays on the field. I think he'll bounce back. The rest of the year has showed me he's playing good football. I'm not going to make that game be the, the determination. But – you know, yeah, there's just too much. Now, where I will say it's a little scary to me, you know, can Brandon Staley, a team that we've talked about, is made to stop the pass and Patrick Mahomes. So can they slow it down? And here's the other thing that just a little bit, and this is where maybe the over comes into play. I do think the Dolphins' aggressive style of play is not the best for Justin Herbert and the Chargers. It's, I mean, for the Dolphins, but it, I think it plays in – Hey, Herbert and them, they might get a few opportunities to, to make some plays down the field. Or, oh, wait, here comes the blitz. I got this pick play dialed up off a little audible or a signal to my receivers out there, whatever. Um, so I could see that happening. But the other thing that scares me, Mike, is the Chargers' pass protection is getting worse. It's, it's got, like last week, the Raiders were all over Justin Herbert. And that, this is a team that plays a similar style and more, even with more talent. I'm going to go Dolphins 31-28. I'm going to take the Chargers to hang around, but I don't feel comfortable about that or, or them. You know, oh, damn, it's the three-point spread. Yes. I'll go 32-28, all right? 32-28 Dolphins. I'll take the Dolphins to cover. I'll take the Dolphins 30-24. to um, And, look, when I say I have a hard time thinking the Chargers will win – that doesn't mean I don't believe they'll be ahead at some point. This is the Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana team. It's always something. They played back-to-back -back Sunday nights earlier this year. They could have beaten slash should have beaten the 49ers and didn't. Could have beaten, should have beaten the Chiefs and didn't. They're the bizarro Vikings where they find a way late to blow a game they should win. And I feel like the same thing is going to happen here. They're going to find a way to blow it. The Dolphins will find a way to win it. It could be high scoring. I don't know. I mean, that over-under, maybe maybe it's a best bet to take the over on that one. It's one of the ones I'm going to have to think about when, yeah. we, when we do that segment coming right. up. But I, the Chargers are competitive, but they just have a knack for finding a way to blow it. And, yeah, oh, hey, they, they beat the Cardinals, but those are the Cardinals. Right. They won the, the Cardinals game on that late two-point Conversion, yeah, great. right. It's awesome. the Cardinals, They're, but these aren't the right. Cardinals. Exactly. These, yeah, yeah. I, I hear what you're saying there. Yeah, you're talking about like they blow games against teams that are quality, that are as good as them or better. They can't ever seem to pull it out there. Yeah, the Cardinals are, you know, one of the more dysfunctional teams in the league right now. And yeah, oh, they pulled that one off. Yeah, whoop de do. I, I hear what you're saying. I do. Um, it'd be interesting though. I do think the Chargers. I think a lot of people think that the Miami Dolphins are just going to blow them away, and I, I just think too much of Herbert and Lombardi that they'll have a few answers from that aggressive Dolphins offense and be able to make a few plays, you know, here and there. Um, but, but yeah, this is uh, it's a good one. But the Dolphins, to me, are, are certainly an elite class in football and one of the best teams in the game.
Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Farid, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Peace out.